So I went to the local Tag Heuer shop yesterday and decided to treat myself by getting an extra strap for my Tag Heuer 2020. And the staff was really surprised to see that I have this um, leathery looking uh, rubber red stitches sta uh, strap because he said it's extremely difficult to get it. So I guess I was the lucky one who managed to get it. I actually ordered it in the early stage, but he's saying that the Tag Heuer connected to 2020, the third generation is extremely popular at the moment. As soon as it comes out, it gets sold straight away. I know a lot of people actually criticize that this is actually made in China, therefore it's not a genuine Tag Heuer, but nonetheless, it's a good seller. I still love it. It's a great quality, it's Tag Heuer, and it makes yourself unique. And a lot of people, when they see it, it's a um, icebreaker. It's something that you feel proud to wear. Anyhow, this is the package that I managed to get. So it's much better, I guess, ordering it directly from the shop than ordering online because you get also a magazine as well. Um, this is actually the, what is it? The Caliber uh, magazine that I managed to get. And this is the actual box. Anyway, so let's get into the unboxing comparing with the other straps I have. So here it goes. All right, so there's a box. We all know what's inside. There's the manual and this is the color I got. Very, very outstanding at the moment, isn't it? And um, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of stickers I need to take out. This is gonna be a bit of a nuisance. So I think that's pretty much it. I hope so. Good. Okay, so let's get this one. Thing is, I could wear this one in a casual way, but I do want something sporty and this is definitely the solution for it. Um, so make sure that pointy bit goes on the top. So unlike the leathery one that we got here, this actually has the Tag Heuer uh, symbol on it, which is really good. I like that. And um, it's a very simple fit. You can see there, just the button, pull it up and then fit. So, moment of truth. There you go. What do you think of that? It's quite nice, isn't it? So why don't we compare it with the other straps as well? So this is the metal one. That's for the business occasion, I guess. And lastly, that's for the casual fit. So I guess I could use this uh, for sporty or any like outdoor activity event, which will really stand out. Cool. So the immediate effect is that the uh, strap is perforated, so it gives a bit of an air space to, for my strap to breathe, which is really good, uh, unlike the previous uh, strap. And um, I can see that the Hoya 02 fits really well with the actual strap, but I, I guess I could play around with other uh, watch face uh, and show you guys a bit of a preview at the moment. And um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. This is definitely gonna show, um, you know, when you actually have a conversation with someone, they tend, you can actually see their eyes. They tend to check your, what sort of watch you, uh, you wear. And this is definitely gonna stand out. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased with it. It's a very good money investment also I could actually show you guys as well on YouTube as well anyway if you have any queries regards to this uh, or anything about Tag Heuer Connected uh, 2020 please do comment below and I'll try to come back to you as soon as possible many thanks for watching this video this is LJP Tech all the best bye bye